A Hastings business owner is facing drug charges tonight, including possession of designer drugs. Target 8 has been exposing the designer drug trade for months now. In fact, we went even inside this guy's shop to expose the dangers last year. Well, right now, Crystal Hilliard joins us live in Hastings with the details of this case. Crystal? Brian and Sue, although the shop's owner is facing drug charges, including manufacturing and delivery, police say they're not sure if he was actually making and selling these drugs inside his store. This kind of sounds like weed. Almost. It does sound like it. Yes, it is a lot like it. Back in May 2011, we went undercover in the Smoky Mountain Tobacco Shop in Hastings. When I asked if they sold spice or bath salts, both designer drugs legal at the time, the owner, Kendall Leonard, took me in the back. Everybody made their own and they called it K2. Now he faces eight drug charges, five for possession of cocaine, marijuana, or amphetamines, the other two for possessing, manufacturing, or delivering synthetic drugs like these. I think it's just the beginning. Hastings police say they take the designer drug trade seriously. Detective Sergeant Jeff Pratt showed us some of the drugs his officers have been confiscating around here. They get hooked on these drugs and they'll do anything, including um, maybe not taking care of you know the, the children the way that they should in order to get and use these drugs. So it just it alters everything. Now, the feds have already outlawed the designer drug known as K2, and the state banned the designer drug known as basalts last summer. The problem is it's very easy to regenerate this drug, to remake it using just a little different chemical formula. So right now, a bill is making its way to the Michigan legislature that would give the state the power to ban any designer drug as soon as it hit the market if they thought it was dangerous. We're tracking that bill, and we're tracking this case. Leonard's in court on March 8th. We're live in Hastings tonight. Crystal Hilliard, 24-Hour News 8.